Hey everyone, it's Sal here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. So today I am super excited because I'm going to be talking about a group of perfumes that all kind of remind me of each other in some way. I wanted to do this video because you guys seem to really enjoy the last video I did on this topic. Um, many of you said that it was really useful. Okay, so first up today we have Poison Girl, the EDP from Dior. And um, this is a really gorgeous, sweet fragrance. You have your orange blossom in here with your bitter orange. So you have that kind of um, bittersweet, citrusy tang to this fragrance. You also have your prominent notes of vanilla. You have your woody notes in the base as well. This has a really nice, rich balsamic quality. And overall, it's just very sweet and addicting. And the fragrance, well, there's actually a few here that I think you would like if you like this. But the first one I'm going to compare this to is um, Girl of Now from Ellie Saab. Now, both of these perfumes are incredibly sweet. So if you're really looking for a sweet fix with your fragrances, I would definitely have a look at both of these. Um, in fact, they both have a kind of nuttiness to them as well. So in your Poison Girl, you have your almond notes and in Girl of Now, you have your pistachio and also your almond, I believe. So they both have a sweet, syrupy, nutty kind of quality in there. Your Girl of Now also has your vanilla notes as well. And another prominent thing that these fragrances share is that very sweet orange blossom as well. So. There are quite a lot of crossovers, I find, between these two fragrances. So I kind of feel like if you already love one, there's a good chance you would enjoy the other. But of course, there's no hard and fast rule. Everybody's different. It might not apply to you and you might like one and not the other. But it's just to kind of give you some guidance. I do find these two to be kind of similar. They give me a similar kind of mood. They share quite a few of the same sorts of notes. And um, they're both definitely very sweet orange blossom, nutty, syrupy, dessert-like fragrances. So that one is Poison Girl, the EDP, and also Elisab, Girl of Now. Next up today we have um, Kiali Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper 25 here in this really pretty bottle. Um, and the fragrance I'm going to be sort of comparing to this one is musk noir rose from narciso rodriguez and i do feel like if you already enjoy one of these there's a good chance you're gonna like the other one as well so both of these fragrances have quite a bright opening they both share notes like pink pepper and bergamot of course they both share the notes of rose as well and i think they both have musk as well but i would probably say the muskiness is going to be stronger in the narciso fragrance as you would just expect you know and they both have vanilla as well, actually. So as you can see, they share quite a lot of the same notes. Um, they are quite different though. Like overall, I would say this fragrance here is a lot punchier, it's a lot stronger. It has a bit more oomph to it. Whereas this fragrance here is a bit more um, subdued. It's a bit softer, you know, a bit more easygoing. Um, the Sweet Diamond fragrance reminds me more of a celebratory kind of mood, you know, it's maybe a bit dressier, whereas your Musk Noir Rose could be more versatile, perfect for every day. And in fact, if you already love this fragrance here, the Sweet Diamond, then I would say you're probably going to enjoy this one as like an alternative scent to wear um, casually every day. You know, you could maybe, like for example, if you have a smaller collection and you're wanting um, something kind of like this, but a bit more easygoing for every day, I would maybe suggest like giving this one a try because it has that same kind of um, flirty, bubbly, girly nature to it, you know, but it's just not quite as out there as um, this one here. I would also say that your Sweet Diamond fragrance is definitely sweeter. Um, than this one here. But again, this one offers that sort of toned down version of it. This one is just a bit more easygoing. It's not as in your face. It's not as sweet. It's not as intense. But I do still think that if you already love this, there's a good chance you would like this. The next pair of fragrances I have to talk about today is C. Fiore from Armani and also A Night to Remember from Juliana's Perfume. So these two fragrances here remind me quite a lot of each other. They both smell 
kind of like a combination of orange blossom infused marshmallows and also rosy Turkish delights. So um, absolutely delicious, as you can imagine. Now, both of these do really remind me of each other quite a lot. They're both very sweet. Um, C. Fiori here, it's more a creamy powdery kind of fragrance with emphasis on the, the creamy fruits like the black currants and the green mandarin and things like that. Um, and also the rosiness, the vanilla, creamy, marshmallowy, puffy kind of nature to it. And this fragrance here, A Night to Remember, uh, this is a dupe for Killian's Love Don't Be Shy, by the way. So that's that's how this one smells. It's a dupe for that fragrance. Um, this one here is a bit more powdery. It has more of that powdery texture about it. Um, and I'm just going to put this one down for now. <sighs> yeah, this is definitely more marshmallow-like absolutely beautiful you guys this fragrance here is totally addicting by the way like it's absolutely wonderful if you've tried love don't be shy then you will know basically how this smells because it's a very good dupe and that sort of fragrance like there's just something so moorish about it i can't even explain it and this fragrance here yeah, they really remind me of each other, you guys. Um, let me know if you've tried both of these. Um, when I say this one, this, you know, the same could be said for Love Don't Be Shy. So they work interchangeably because this is like a dupe. So if you've tried Love Don't Be Shy and you've tried C. Fiori, let me know if you think that they're kind of similar. Because um, I certainly do think they are similar. These two really remind me of one another. And I definitely think if you already love one, then there's a good chance you will love the other one. So um, yeah, they both to me smell like sweet, fluffy marshmallows with sweet orange blossom, rose and um, fruity nuances in there as well. I would say this one to me almost has like, is it an orangey nuance? Yeah, this has a kind of orangey sort of feeling to it. And so does this to be fair, but this one also has your black currant as well. So it's slightly different in that kind of way. Um, it has your neroli as well. And they both have quite a lot of vanilla I would say and they're both very very sweet in fact the level of sweetness of these two is pretty much on par except um, I can find this one to be more sickly for some reason like the sweetness of this one for some reason to me feels better it just feels more like luxurious maybe I don't know what it is but I can tolerate the sweetness of this one more than I can this one sometimes but I still do like this one I think I just have to be kind of more in the mood for it. But anyway, these two are both really nice. If you like one, you'll probably like the other one as well. And the last pair of fragrances. I can't believe they've all worked in pairs. I wasn't planning to do the video like this at all. I was planning on like bunching together this whole group. But anyway, the last pair of fragrances we have Alien not Alien, we have Angel the EDT and also Mariah Carey's M, these two perfumes here. Um, and they do kind of remind me of each other as well. I would say the level of sweetness is pretty much on par with these two, with Angel being slightly sweeter. They both have a light, fluffy feeling to them. This fragrance here has your marshmallowy note in there. And this fragrance here, it gives me that powdered cocoa kind of feeling. And this has like a powdery, powdered marshmallow kind of feeling. But to me, they both feel like they're from a similar fragrance family, you guys. And I definitely feel like if you already know that you love one of these, then there's a good chance you will also enjoy the other one. They both have that light, airy, slightly powdered feeling to them. Um, both quite sweet. But they're both quite well balanced with the sweetness as well. So like in the in the Angel EDT, you do have your patchouli in there and you have some other notes. Um, I would say it's mainly the patchouli that's balancing the sweetness. And in here you have notes like seawater, accord. You also have your incense and your amber in here to balance the sweetness. So they're both quite well balanced in a similar kind of way. They both have a similar texture to them, a similar kind of powderiness. Um, and they just remind me of one another, to be quite honest with you. So that is Mariah Carey's M and also Angel the EDT from Moogler. I would say in addition to what I've already gone through, um, my Poison Girl also reminds me of C. Fiori. 
and um, Girl of Now. So these three together could be like one group because they both, like they all have this kind of orangey nature to them, this sweet orangey orange blossom um, kind of sweetness about them. Yeah, and in addition to these three, I would say um, A Night to Remember. I would group this one in with these because again, this has that sweet orange blossom marshmallow-like feeling to it. And it has the same level of sweetness as these three. And these two, these two here, remind me of each other but again also also of course your sweet diamond pink pepper reminds me of poison girl for sure because they're both very sweet they have that very flirty feminine feeling about them so i would group these two together as well the only one perfume here that i would say is like the most different from the whole group would be the musk noir because this is probably the least sweet one out of all of these. Um, this one and the Mariah Carey M are the least sweet. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a wee like, share your thoughts in the comments section, and feel free to subscribe for new perfume videos every single week here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching, take care, and I look forward to seeing you again very soon on my next video. Bye!